Let's take a quick look at Lead the Follower. It's a motion modifier, and one of the first things we need to know about Lead the Follower is the item or items that you apply Lead the Follower to need to be parented to something, and you need to have some kind of motion. So I've got this yellow uh, ball here, and I've got just a basic little motion path for it. And then I've got the red, green, and blue uh, balls right here. So I'm going to go ahead and parent these to the yellow ball. Now I could go in and select it and hit M for motion options and uh, apply the parent there. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the middle mouse, select all of these, okay, and go over to the scene editor and click and drag up. Okay, so what I did just by doing that one move is I parented all three of these to the yellow ball, which is um, in layer one. Okay, it's just a quicker way if you're wanting to parent a lot of items all at one time. Okay, I'm going to grab the the red ball, M for motion options, add, modifi add modifier, and I'm going to choose lead the follower. Okay, and already you can see if I scrub through, it's already following it. Now, the other, um, let's close this down for a second, the green and the blue, well that's following as well, but it's just parented to the item. It's not actually using the same motion path the way that the red, uh, the red ball is. But let's go back to our motion options panel, and I'm going to double click. And what we can do is we can decide how many frames ahead will this item that's using lead the follower going to be from its parent. Well, right now it's set to 20. I'm going to set it to 10. Okay, and now see it drops back because it's 10 frames. Now it's just 10 frames ahead. So it's got the exact same motion as the yellow ball, but um, it's, it's going 10 frames before that. Let's do the same thing for the green. And let's set this to 20. And then let's do the same thing for the blue. And we'll set this to 30. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the yellow just so we can see the motion path. But you'll see that all items are using the motion path. But they're set a certain number of frames that we did in the, in the options panel. It set a certain number of frames ahead. Of course, towards the end, they all end up in the same place. So you could use this for, for all sorts of things. I mean, one of the things that comes to mind is that if you needed to do some kind of train, um, some kind of train motion, you could have each car and you could set the distance uh, between them. Now in this case, towards the end, there's the long stretch and so they start to space out a little bit because of the point here. So you'd want to go into the graph editor and check your speed and velocity curves and make sure that it's a, it's a steady pace. Uh, but if you, that's if you were doing a train, but you could have um, just if you, anytime you need items following each other, well, in this case, uh, the, the children are actually leading the parent um, because it's, it's using the parent's motion option, but you're setting frames in advance. And that's lead the follower in the motion options panel.